So, anti-theist will get the fuck out. Now, I'll explain what I mean by that. Um, so, because some might be wondering, get out of where? What? Get out of where, you know? Um, and, I mean, well, the atheist community, the atheist movement. Um, the atheist movement doesn't need religious apologetics coming out of its own ranks, so to speak. And if you're not an anti-theist, well, I have to ask why. And any answer that you can give to that requires a defense of religion. You will end up defending religion because if you don't think it's bad inherently, then you have to defend it. You have to say why it's good. Um, so you end up basically as a religious apologist. As far as I see it, there's no way you can be... There's no way you cannot be an anti-theist and not be a religious apologist. So, I mean... I do think all religion is bad all the time. That's not a straw man. That is my position. I, um... So, to people that don't, to non-anti-theists, I would wonder... Why are you not an anti-theist? And every answer that I've ever heard given to this, um, and every answer I can imagine given to this, results in religious apologia, a defense of religion. Um, many times coming from atheists that don't consider themselves anti-theists. I should also be abundantly clear, by an anti-theist I do not mean a Gnostic atheist. I don't mean one who takes the positive position that there is no God, I mean one who opposes the belief in a God or gods. Um, and so I wonder why. Many people try to throw around good things of religion, and that's just it's just a defense of religion, right? People talk about people with mental health issues that have had, you know, found Jesus, and, you know, now they're doing a lot better or whatever. Um, and well, this is the same religious apologist bullshit. Um, you know, religion just takes advantage of people that are in vulnerable states and convinces them to, them to believe in bullshit. Um, that's all you're saying. Some people might jump on the community aspect. Religion is good at fostering communities. And that's true. Religion is good at fostering the worst types of communities. Religious, the most religious communities also tend to be the most bigoted, the most violent, and the most xenophobic communities that there are. So, why defend that? Why not outright oppose it? Um, even even the, the, the religions that we think of as religions of peace or whatever, right? Religions like Jainism, right? And people like Jainism is a religion of peace or whatever, right? And it's like, yeah, sure, Jainism is a religion of nonviolence, but like... You want to go be a woman in a Jainist society? I imagine you, oh, no thank you, right? Because, like, they're incredibly misogynistic, right? Jainism is a bigoted, xenophobic religion. Make absolutely no mistake about it. Um, and these ideas, they are fundamentally false. They have no evidence, and religion encourages people to believe in things without evidence. And so, again, why not oppose that? Why not be opposed to this fucking bullshit. Um, so, if anyone out there thinks that there is a good reason to not be an anti-theist, then you can go ahead and try to answer the question without defending religion. But, I'm almost certain that you're going to fail. So, with that in mind, anti-theist will get the fuck out.